Hey, this is Kev Kev on Fire, and this is my audition for the parts of Essengren and Coyote. <clears throat> what is this? Where is your medium? Do you expect us to talk to children? What game is this, Surma? Why are they saying you are dead? <laughs> you look much younger than before. Daughter? Oh! Aglamor, you hound! Oh, in that case, how awkward! Oh, oh. Mm. Yes, yes I am. And your mother is really gone. I'm sorry, I forget how short a time you humans have in this world. She was a fine, pretty girl. Oh, I laughed part way through. Yes, not one of my finer moments. Can we get a move on? This is Isengrim. He is very impatient. Perhaps with the death of one of our people, at the hands of Sir Eglamor, no less. Indeed they are. Oh, you know, Mood. Nice guy. Hell of a poker face. Well, originally we heard one of your own fell to the death that night, and we were content to leave it at that. But we are here today about something far more serious. This was recently found on our side of the Arnon waters. It had been there several months. By the time I discovered it, it had already rooted itself into the shore and caused considerable damage to the cliff face. Liar! You cannot deny this device was made with court technology. You are in no position to make requests. Furthermore, we have proof that Anthony Carver was the one who planted the device there. We found this garment, which bears the name A. Carver. Ah, uh, we are not very good with human clothing. So... So you admit you planted it there? Mm. Cousin, it's so good to see you. You look so well. You dare take the form of a wolf? You should admire this body Lord Coyote has gifted me with, Renard. Now the very trees of Gillity are under my command. Won't you come back to the forest with us, dearest cousin? Such lame excuses, Renard. I think someone isn't being honest. Perhaps this one has something to do with it. Oh, really? You never could resist a pretty girl, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! My, my lord. My sincerest apologies. Poor Sengren is so easy to rile these days. Apologies to you too, Abalone. My nose has a mind of its own. You cannot trust the people of this place. Come visit me in my forest where we may talk. No harm will come to you, I swear it. <laughs> yes, good, good. It appears this has all been a grand misunderstanding. And so we shall leave. James, I would appreciate an escort out of this rabbit warren.